These next questions come from George B four three five. Question one: What is your least favorite part about YouTube? All the unnecessary updates that the site makes. Question two: What game would you wish to be made? Star Fox Wii. Seriously, Nintendo, make it happen. Question three: What are your thoughts on Connect, PS Move at a glance? Even though it seems like they're trying to like jump onto the motion bandwagon that the Wii set, I still think they look interesting. I might get the PS Move if there's any games worth getting it for. Question 4, what will be your dream job? Probably won't be able to get this job, but a chocolate taste tester. Question 5, what is the most annoying show or any piece of media you've ever seen, heard? Fred. These next questions come from God7619Griffin. Question 1, if you're planning on a TTS saga, what would it be? Um, not sure what that is. Question 2, what is your opinion on Pilo films? Never heard of them. <laughs> Question 3, if you live in your own world right now, what would it be like? Well, it would probably be Sonic theme for a start. 4, cartoons nowadays or classic cartoons? Well, for shows like South Park and The Simpsons, which have been going on for quite some time, I've got no problems with them. But if it was like cartoons which only lasted a certain time, I'd go for classic cartoons. Question 5. If you were to include me in one of your videos, what video would it be? Not sure about that one, to be honest. <laughs> These next questions come from Chief Shadow 1750 Question 1. Who's the cheapest boss you've ever played against? For this, I'll go for either Lancelot Returns from Sonic and the Black Knight, or Jasper Bat Jr. Phase 2 from No More Heroes 2. Those bosses were just unfair. Question 2. Is there a movie you hate or liked that others liked or hated? Well, I, for that I'd direct you to my list of top 10 critically underrated and overrated movies. But if you want examples, Paranormal Activity, Adventureland and Avatar for movies I hated, and Spider-Man 3, Pink Panther and The Lost World Jurassic Park for movies I liked. Question 3. Which game in your opinion didn't age well the most? The Simpsons Wrestling. Because when I got that game, I loved it because of being a Simpsons fan that I am. But now I look back on it, it wasn't that good. Question 4. Which Jack and Daxter game do you like the most? Jack 3. Jack 1 was too short. Jack 2 was way too difficult. But Jack 3 is the most balanced of the trilogy. And I like it. And question 5. Which Crash Bandicoot game is your favourite? Crash Bandicoot Warped. These next questions come from Mr. Trashy. Question 1. Why is your name Shadsilf Sonarvan? Well, it's actually... I got that name where I combined Shadow, Silver and Sonic. And 11 because I always like to put a random number at the end of my name. Question 2. How did you begin playing video games? Well, the first console I ever got was a Game Boy Color and the first game I ever played for that was Robot Wars Metal Mayhem. I do have some nostalgia for that game though, but I've moved on to others now. Question 3, what's the next game you're going to buy? Hmm, I've been considering trying out Akami for the Wii, because I've heard loads of good things about that. Question 4, do you like Kirby? Yes I do. I love Kirby Superstar and Kirby 64. And question 5, what do you think about Germany? I've actually never been to Germany, but if there's one thing about Germany that's made of epic win, angry German kid. These next questions come from King Raikou. Question 1, if Sonic, Shadow and Silver showed up at your front door, what would you do? Well, the first thing I'd ask them to do would be to sign my copy of Sonic 06. Question 2, do you read the Sonic the Hedgehog comic books by Archie Comics? Well, I never really was able to get them in England, although at Summer of Sonic I got a couple and I've read them. They're alright. Question 3, who do you prefer the most? Mario, Sonic, Crash Bandicoot or Klonoa? Sonic the Hedgehog. Question 4. What are the most overrated and underrated video games you've ever played? Overrated? Gears of War, Metroid and Ghosts and Goblins. And underrated? Sonic 06, Chaos Island and Pulse Man. Question 5. What are the top things you would what are the top five things you would do to a paranormal activity DVD? Well first thing I'd try to do would be to get my money back for it. And if I couldn't get a good enough deal for it, I'd use it as a drinks coaster, play frisbee with it. Drop it from a tall building to see how big a dent it leaves in the pavement. And I'd probably make a hypno wheel out of it to get people under my control. These next questions come from 3 Days Grace Sucks. 
Question 1. Out of all the No More Hero bosses but didn't make it onto your top 10, who's your favourite? Mimi, because you get to fight her as Henry. Question 2. What would you personally consider to be the most beautiful video game music you've ever heard? Hmm, very few come to mind. Although, even though I haven't played the game, the other promise from Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix is just dang beautiful. Question 3. What's your favourite vocal Sonic song? Hmm, I'm getting to really enjoy Reach for the Stars at the moment, but I'll always have a place in my heart for his world. Question 4. What's your favourite No More Heroes boss theme? That's a tough one because the No More Heroes series has many great boss themes, but my favourite from each game would be We Are Finally Cowboys from the first game, and Psycho Soldier from the second game. Yes, it is better than Philistine. Question 5. Are there any games that you haven't played but really want to? Well, I've been wanting to play Nights Into Dreams, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and Okami. Awaiting response, please respond. Captain Vladimir reference for the win. These next questions come from ZDude3255. Question 1. Who is your favourite video game character? Anybody can guess that. Question 2. What is your favourite game genre? Already answered that one. Question 3. Do you plan on doing a 5 ways to kill on the angry video game nerd? Not James Rolfe, the bad one. Oh, Jacko. That's a maybe. Question 4. Who is your least favourite commentator on YouTube? And don't say Darkness the Curse because no one likes him. Wait, Darkness the Curse did commentaries? Anyways, my answer to that would probably be Joshua8428. And question 5, who is your most hated video game character? There are quite a few who I hate, like Moneybags from Spyro, Charmy B, the Duck Hunt Dog, and the Owl from Ocarina of Time, all of which are annoying. This next question comes from Kingdom Masters. Just one question, why are you so damn awesome? <laughs> I was just born that way, born to be awesome, man. These next questions come from Titan Symbiote. Question 1. Lefty or righty? I assume that means what hand I write with, and by that I'm right-handed. Question 2. Hardest video game boss you've killed? That's kind of a hard one. I'd probably go over Lancelot Returns again, but he's just flat out cheap. Question 3. If I was hanging off a building, would you save me? Uh, it depends how dangerous the situation is. Question 4. It's dark and I hear laughing. Please explain what's happening in five words. Um, I don't even want to picture what's happening, that sounds really creepy. Question 5, how many eyes do you have? Two, one on the left, one on the right. These next questions come from Ryan X, the X Hedgehog. Question 1, what was the first video game console you ever owned? The first handheld I owned was a Game Boy Color, and the first console I owned was a PS2. Question 2, when have you made up the concept for your fan character Tom the Hedgehog? Just curious, you don't have to answer. Well, the main concept I have behind Tom the Hedgehog is he's a bit of a silly character who likes to think of himself as great, but he does it only for comedy, he doesn't really give himself a superiority complex. Question 3. Have you ever watched anime? If so, which one's your favourite? Yes, I have. Didn't really like it though. Question 4. Are you planning to do Let's Plays or commentaries in the near future? Yep, as long as I still have the time to do it. Question 5. Did you see Cars 2? I have. It's a good movie in my opinion. Well, I haven't seen the first Cars either. From what I've heard, it's not one of Pixar's best movies. But that's a tough job when you're up against the likes of Toy Story. These next questions come from DB Darkness. Question 1. If you had to beat Jack 2 or listen to a Justin Bieber album, which would break your sanity first? I don't want to do any of those, but I'd probably go for Justin Bieber album because Jack 2, I did have some fun on it before it got crazy hard. Question 2. Out of all the people you have commentated on, which one is the worst? Probably Game Dude, because he just never learns. Question 3. Favourite movie? Like I said before, too many to list. Question 4. What's more dangerous, jumping off a 50 foot cliff into water, or wearing a t-shirt saying, I like Sonic 06 to a Summer of Sonic? You know what? Next Summer of Sonic, I might actually try out that thing you suggested, because I want to see how I end up. And question 5. Did you hit her? It's not true, it's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. These next questions come from CBO Videos 234 Question 1. What if Sailor Moon Red made a rant on you? It would show two things. One, that he never listens to the criticism that's given to him, 
And two, it'll give my rant on him more publicity. Two, Shadvik or Tom the Hedgehog? Tom the Hedgehog, obviously. Question three, do you have Skype? Yep, and it's the same name as my YouTube name. Question four, what was the name of your first account and why was it gone? Ah, now my first account was called Shadow the Hedgehog Tom, except the videos I made on that, in my opinion, were shit. And the reason why it was gone was a false copyright claim from Mighty Noid Entertainment. But anyway, I'm glad that channel's gone because it sucked. And question five, do you like waffles? Yeah, I like waffles. These next questions come from the hoodie one is gay. Question one, who would win in a fight, Modern Sonic or Ray the Kid? Modern Sonic would win, easily. Question two, who is your favourite non-angry video game reviewer? I like Wii Viewer. He's family friendly, he's funny, and he gets his kids involved with the reviews, so I like him. And question three, what video game do you think would make a good movie adaptation, and what video game do you say hell no for a movie adaptation? Well, for a start, I think Heavy Rain would make a good movie adaptation. I mean, that game pretty much already is a movie, so making a proper movie on it would be easy. And I'd say hell no for a Klonoa movie. The only exception to if a Klonoa movie should be made is if great care would go into writing the storyline. Just for the love of God, keep it away from Yui Ball. These next questions come from SonicFan3346. Question 1, what would you rather play, Sonic GBA Genesis or Big Rigs? Probably Big Rigs, because you can reverse at 3000 miles per hour. Question 2, do you enjoy making commentaries? I kind of already answered that one. Question 3, in your opinion, who is the worst YouTuber ever? Yeah, again, I already answered that one. Question 4, what do you think of Sonic Generations as of now? It looks awesome. And question 5, do you have an Xbox 360? No, I have a PS3. These next questions come from the Dylan Shane. Question 1, what got you into doing commentaries? It was Realm Wars who did that. Question 2, would you play as modern or classic Sonic in Sonic Generations? Well, seeing as I've already played as classic Sonic, I choose modern. Question 3, who do you think is the best commentator on YouTube? Sorry for misspelling. Once again, Realm Wars. Question 4, what program do you use for your commentaries? I use Windows Movie Maker, not Sony Vegas. Take that, tubers! Question 5, what would you do for a Klondike bar? I'd run for it. These next questions are from Kimono Flare on GX. Question 1, what really cheers you up? Comedy. Whenever I'm like, down or depressed, I usually love to like, have a laugh, because laughing cheers me up. Question 2, do you think Samus is overrated? Yeah, she is a bit. Not to mention the original Metroid's overrated. Question 3. Favourite racer in F-Zero GX? I'd go for Phoenix, because his car's design is pretty cool, his stats are well balanced, not to mention he's a time traveller. Question 4. If you met Justin Bieber, what would you do to him? Well, I would initially kick him in the balls, but I'm highly doubtful that he has any to begin with. Question 5. Do you like dogs? Eh, dogs are alright, I don't own any myself. These next questions come from the Four Wheeler 1992. Question 1. Do you like my commentaries? Well, from what I've seen, I think they're pretty good. Yeah, I promise. And question 2. I've been thinking about doing a commentary, but the thing is, he's a troll, and I don't want to get trolled by him. So should I do, or should I not do a commentary on him? Well, if you're unsure about whether he's a troll or not, I'd best miss him out. These next questions are from Sonic Len Kirby Fan 8. Question 1, who was your first subscriber? I believe that was a user by the name of Sorgi2. Hope I pronounced that right. Question 2, do you know who was your 800th subscriber? It is a user by the name of I Still Drink Apple Juice. Question 3, did you know Bill S.978 is fake? Yeah, I knew that. I think it was pretty much the government's way of trolling us. And it worked. Question 4, have you got a virus on your computer? I did, but it's gone now. Thank goodness. Question 5. What makes a man-child? A uh, man-child can be made by several things. For example, playing with Sailor Moon dolls, and dressing up as a baby, and still watching Barney the Dinosaur. Those are just some examples of what makes a man-child. These next questions come from my 800 subscriber himself. I still drink apple juice. Question 1. Do you like fat girls? Uh, not particularly. No offence to any fat girls out there. 
Question 2. What if your account was hacked? Start anew. Question 3. What if someone spammed you are a fucking Sonic fag? Ignoring for the win. Question 4. Do you like anime? Oh god, how many questions am I going to get asking me this? Question 5. Who is worse? Irate gamer or game dude? Game dude is worse. Because he's a nitpicky moron, he keeps revising his reviews, doesn't listen to criticism, and bashes on so-called good games. And yeah, he uses a satirical claim to cop out of criticism. That's why he's one of the worst video game reviewers ever. These next questions come from Shadowstar1224. Question 1. Do you have Team Fortress 2 now that it's free? If not, what's stopping you? If yes, favourite character? Well, I don't have the game. I've never really had any strong driving force to get the game. I was not sure whether I'd like it or not. Maybe I should look up more on the game to see if I might like it. Question 2. If Metroid were to get another character in the next Super Smash Bros. game, who would you make it be if you had control over that option? Well, I'd probably go for Dark Samus, as long as they gave her different moves and didn't make her a clone character to Samus. Okay, that's pretty much it for all the questions I got from video comments. Now to move on to the ones I got from private messages. His first set of questions in private messages comes from Night Comedian 42 Question 1. If you own Team Fortress 2, would you get it for the PS3 or PC? Probably PS3, because I'm not really much of a PC gamer. Question 2. What intrigued you into getting a PS3? Okay, this is going to sound really, really sad, but the reason I got a PS3 was to play Sonic 06. I know, I'm sad. Question 3. What are your thoughts on E3 2011? Uh, I didn't catch it. Question 4. Do you watch any Tim Burton movies? If so, which one's your favourite? I've seen a few Tim Burton movies. I'd say my favourite of his is Batman 1989. Question 5. What are your thoughts on the new Wii U? Already answered that question. His next questions come from Perry McCall 18. Question 1. Why do people say Falcon Punch rather than Juggernaut Punch? Juggernaut is obviously far stronger than Captain Falcon. Did Juggernaut ever do an awesome punch like that though? I want proof if he did. Question 2. Would you kiss Rogue, that one mutant chick from X-Men? Well, as long as she didn't have a mutation, then yeah, I probably would. 3. Is d the most original recolor you've ever seen? To be honest, original's not the word I'd use to describe recolors. Question 4. Where the fudge is the SWAT cats? Um, In Alabama? I don't know. Question 5. What will happen if you are married to Angelica while Akuma from Street Fighter pursues you just to fight you while Roshutsu Rises and Slap Happy Gamer did some irresistibly hot? To be honest, I think Angelica would have already killed me by then. Yeah, she's murder obsessed, that girl is. These next questions come from British Studios. Question 1. So what was your most fond childhood gaming memory? Probably the first time I played Crash Bandicoot. I think the first one I played was Wrath of Cortex. When I played Crash Bandicoot 3, that was one of the best 3D platformers I've ever played in my life. Question 2. Because I recently became one, what are your thoughts on... Bronyism. It's basically male fans of the NLP Friendship is Magic. Um, no answer to that one. Question 3. What do you personally think was the stupidest internet drama? Example, the Joshua Ariana thing, if I spelt that right. Well, one stupid drama which would immediately come to mind was the issue with Chief Shadow in the commentaries because Roshutsu and Super Sonic 407 made that, common, that flawed commentary on Chief Shadow. Shadow Star 1224 did it on that, and since then, it's been like non-stop, there have been like multiple degree commentaries on all that one video, and poor old Chief Shadow just wants to forget about it, and move on. Question 4, if there was one game series that you could remove its undeserving popularity, what game and why? Probably FIFA, because football is something that should be played outside, not inside sitting on your ass. Just go outside and play some real football. Question 5. If you have the choice to refresh an old forgotten game series, what would it be? E.g. Rista or something similar. Probably Dynamite Heady. And his last set of questions comes from Super Mario Kenny 1992. Question 1. What didn't you like about Super Mario Sunshine? Okay, here is why I don't like Super Mario Sunshine. The game is incredibly tedious and frustrating. 
half the game pretty much relies on levels where you're climbing up and up and up. And if you make one mistake, you have to start all of it over again. And also, some of the tasks were just tedious to do, like getting the blue coins for shine sprite. Overall, the game is just drawn out, frustrating, and quite frankly boring, to be honest. Question 2. What Nintendo 3DS games are you looking forward to? Lilac Wars 3D. Question 3. From any Sonic game, which is your favourite soundtrack? That is a tough one. I always loved Sonic 06's soundtrack and Sonic Colours. And Sonic Adventure 2 Battle has some good Sonic songs, but not the Knuckles music. Question 4. What is your favourite Mario power-up? It can be from the mainstream Mario games or the spin-off games like Mario Kart and Mario Party. I like the ones which make you fly! Question 5. Do you have a favourite Angry Video Game Nerd episode? Ooh, that's a tough one, although one episode I can remember which had me rolling on the floor laughing was Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. So, that's the end of my Q&A. Hope you enjoyed hearing me answer your questions, and if I missed out on you, apologies. But you can still ask questions through comments. So this is Shad Sloth Simon saying thank you for sending in the questions, Thanks to all my 800 subscribers for supporting my videos. You guys rock.